In this video, you are going to be learning how to use Gravit Designer by creating a leaf based from a photograph. You will start with creating the veins of the leaf, and then you will create the base of the leaf, and then you will add features um, such as blurs and drop shadows in order to give some a definition to the leaf. We're going to start by creating an artboard that is 6 by 6 inches. So we're going to type in 6 by 6 and make sure that you change pixels to inches and then create. Again, if you want the dark background, uh, you'll find that in the settings. So edit settings. Uh, and then you want that artboard to fill the screen. So view fit all and you will find the screen larger. Now we will uh, import your uh, leaf, the multiple uh, leaf photograph that I provided for you in the file by file import place image and you'll find that leaf and for you it will be in your Google Drive um, and uh, you'll be able to grab that. Now this is a lot of leaves not necessary you could just choose one of those leaves so in the right hand corner where you see the menu you will see the crop tool so tap on the crop tool you'll see these heavy lines and you can just drag and uh, to crop around those heavy lines. So I'm going to choose that leaf in particular this time. I'm going to choose it because the veins are quite distinct and the lines are fairly simple around. Once you've done that, you can hit uh, deselect, go off of it, and then go to your pointer, your solid arrow, your select tool. Now you can drag the file into, um, into the center of your screen and then go ahead and make it larger. So grab the corners and make it larger so it's nice and big. If you want, if dra uh, drawing a leaf upside down is bothersome to you, you can go ahead and turn it around so it's right side up. So I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. And when you have imported your leaf, I want you to come back um, and we'll continue. So stop the video, go ahead and do that. I'll wait. Okay, welcome back. Uh, now as a, as a remembering, uh, we have the solid arrow, which is a select tool. We call it a pointer tool and the shortcut is V. And once you get used to shortcuts, it's going to be really handy, especially in this, in this type of work. The sub select is the hollow arrow. And then the other tool we're going to use is the path tool. So those are the three tools that we're going to focus on today. So with the path tool selected, I'm going to get you to first start by uh, drawing the veins. So we're going to start at the bottom of the leaf and I'm finding that this is very zoomed. Not, it's not detailed enough. So I'm actually going to change the zoom and I'm going to zoom it in quite large and then I can with the space key down you see the hand appear when I hit the space bar I can move this up and I can um, start to trace the veins of the leaf here we go so I'm going to tap along the veins not too closely like I said before here is where I'm going to leave it a point don't come too close and tap along here. Now if you double tap by accident, like I just did, I've lost my connection. Don't just start making a new line because you're going to get a bunch of these little lines everywhere and that is going to be frustrating and you're going to have to redo. I'm going to delete those, select and delete. Now with this selected, with the line that I want to continue, I'm going to go to the subset Subselect tool and I see the nodes here. Back to the pen tool path. Now make that blue. Now, now I've reattached it. So now I can continue to go ahead and make those veins like I want to. Okay, and tiny veins. I'm getting to the point where I can't see, so uh, I'm going to hit the 
space bar and drag it over uh, and continue along the path. So again, don't be too detailed about this. Don't make lines that are super close together that will end only in frustration. Okay, because this is just a practice. This one curves a bit, so I'm going to make this curved a bit. Space bar, go up, down, down, and all the way. So basically the veins in this case are going to be one really long line, and that's okay. If you've ended up with a pile of little lines, the technique is not going to work for you and you're going to have to restart. Okay, one more to go. pencil. We'll go back down here and close it off by connecting back to the beginning. When I do that, all of my veins will become white. I'm going to reduce this so that you can see what that looks like. Okay, so we're good to go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curve, curve out some of those lines. So with the sub select tool selected, I can take some of these lines and I can curve them to make them look a little bit more natural. Uh, when you use your these, you can adjust the anchors so that they're a little bit more curved, that they'll be more precise. I'm going to zoom in again because I find it difficult to work so far away. Okay, so I can adjust these here. I can curve these lines out so that it looks a little bit more vein like and if you like you can actually um, make this semi transparent so I can actually see the veins in here and I can be a little bit more precise but I'm not looking for precision here um, in fact if you want to leave it angular um, I'm okay with that um, spacebar so I'm just gonna go ahead and tidy up these lines and uh, fast forward through this. Set my video on fast forward so you don't have to listen and watch me do all this. Okay, I have done all of the um, tidying up that I want to do, and I'm going to choose a color for those veins. I'm going to bring it back, the opacity back up to 100%. This time I'm going to click on um, the eyedropper here, and I'm just going to choose one of these dark reds and, and have a look at there. And then I'm going to turn the border here to zero. So I'm going to hit zero, return so that when I deselect, which is uh, 
control D, right? Pointer, how about that? I can see the veins are, 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 are um, outlined and it looks actually blended in quite nicely. I'm gonna sele uh, select that again and I'm gonna go into um, an inner shadow. So I'm gonna darken the edges a little bit. So inner shadow, hit the plus arrow. It will automatically give you a 50% black with a five uh, pixel blur. Um, so when I deselect, you can see a little bit. It's a little bit difficult to see here, um, but it does give it a little bit more, more depth. So we've done that. Now these are all, um, when I look here, you'll see the different paths. This is all, uh, here's the leaf itself, which I can make invisible. Okay, and the path here I can make that, I guess that's the crop, so we want to keep that visible. Uh, so I think we're good. Okay, so uh, we're going to trace the, the main part of the leaf now. So we're going to go back to our pen tool, and now we're going to trace the outside. So starting here, I'm just going to start tapping along, along the way at kind of the high points. Now um, you can, um, because you're gonna, you can adjust these little bits in a little in a little while. So we're just gonna tap the high high points. If you feel comfortable with dragging, you can click and drag so that it follows, and then use your Alt key um, to change direction. And so you can do it like this if you want. It's actually quite a lot faster using the Alt key to make the adjustments along the way. And you'll get better at it as you do this. Let's change direction. Let's change direction. Um, go something like that. Change direction a little bit. That was a little awkward, so I'll have to fix that one later. Change again. And I'll go back to tapping here. For the sake of getting this done. Tapping at this point is probably the easiest. And then select the whole thing. Now you have it completely white. So we're going to once again adjust the opacity so that we can see through this white part. I'm going to take the border down to zero. And uh, we're going to start adjusting that. So back over here to the subselect tool. And you can start to change this so that it looks a little bit more um, like it should. You can move these nodes around. If you're feeling like you don't have enough nodes, all you have to do is tap and you create another node on its own. And and that. So if you don't have enough nodes, no worries, you could fix that. So just go ahead and convert these into curve lines so it's a little bit more natural. Move the nodes if they didn't work out quite as you hoped. Mostly fix these weird ones here. Okay, that's fine. All right, now I'm going to increase the opacity again. I'm going to switch to my pointer tool. I'm going to move that over, and I'm going to grab one of these colors over here. So fill color. I'm going to grab this lighter, this lighter yellow color. I like that. I'm going to move it back. Okay, there we go. So underneath I have the veins, and you can see them when I hover over the leaf. Um, but And you can also see on the left-hand side, watch here, when I hover over the leaf, which path that is. So I'm going to select that, and I want to actually see this. So I'm going to take this, I'm holding the pen tablet down, and I'm actually going to move it up to the top so I can see both layers. And then I'm going to turn off the outs the original leaf so I don't see it. Now with the main leaf selected, I'm going to work on this a little bit to make it a little bit more three-dimensional. So I'm going to give it an inner shadow just like I did before with the other one. This time I'm going to change the pixels maybe to 15 so it has a little bit more depth here. I can change the color maybe to more of a red color uh, it's, so you see how it kind of gives it a, a nicer a nicer color there. 
um, but you can change you can change it to see more of a green color there or more blue pink it's kind of hard to see but I'm going to stick with the red um, and uh, so that gives the the outside of the leaf a little bit more depth now we can add some highlights to this area most leaves don't turn completely solid orange so we can give it some interest um, I'm going to take the ellipse and I'm just going to draw an oval rotate it I can put that in here I'm going to color that maybe a green here and now I'm going to do something really different maybe a darker green I'm going to do something really different with that I'm going to start to blur it and see what happens. So I'm going to increase the blur so it's really quite blurry. And then I'm going to, here's the ellipse, you can see that I'm going to drop it behind the, uh, drop it behind the veins so it looks a little bit more part of that. Um, you can also just choose a random shape around here, maybe maybe this is a little bit more yellow you can see so I'm going to change that to maybe yellow um, orangey yellow here uh, again I'm going to take off that border turn it to zero I'm going to hit the blur effect and I'm just going to increase the blur until I'm happy with it your computer will kind of freak a little bit as it gets used to it. And I'm going to send that behind. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to send it behind that uh, veins. And what you can actually do is double tap on this and call it veins so you know which. Um, is this veins? No, it's not. Never mind. This was the yellow, yellow blur. This one is the veins. I can double tap call it veins so I know what is what when I've when I've done this um, so you can go ahead and add um, other little kind of blobby bits that are uh, a little bit too fast uh, you can add sort of blobby bits that tend to be a little bit darker that show um, damage on on that so maybe more of a brown color down here Again, take away the border and you can add a blur to it. So you've got so so work on that and, um, and and give some dimension to your leaf. When you're done, the overall done, with your pointer solid arrow selected, select this and create a drop shadow. That will actually give your again give some more dimension to your uh, your leaf you can uh, increase this to maybe 15% you'll see more shadow here uh, you could change that to maybe more of a black color and you can offset um, on using your X and Y axis a little bit so that it moves it a little bit so that it's less up here more shadow there. You could do that a little bit here as well. You can add a drop shadow to your veins to give it a little bit more depth again so you can see how how that really makes it pop. Uh, so pretty much when you have something similar to this you can go ahead and save it. I would along the way save but you go file, save, will open up your document and you can just simply call it leaf and go ahead and save it. Um, then when you're ready to download, you're going to export, export. I want you to export it using transparent color and keep it as a PNG. Uh, you can um, transport it into twice the file size if you like, uh, if you think you'd want to use it for a larger, larger, but for, for this purposes, times one is just fine. Go ahead and export it and it will send it down to your uh, Google Drive and then hand that in. 
So uh, good luck with that. Once you're done with this, um, you are welcome to try other designs as well.